So there's a popular notion that if you make your body more alkaline, you won't get sick. Yes, no more disease for me. So if this is you or someone you know, you may want to stay tuned to this episode of H2 Minutes. The first step in figuring out whether a health fad has validity or not is to start with what you know. What we know is that the pH of our blood is 7.365 to 7.45. So if we bring back our pretty pH scale, I guess you can say it's slightly alkaline. But here's the kicker. If the blood's pH goes below 7.2, you have acidosis. And this can lead to death. And if the blood's pH goes above 7.55, you will have alkalosis, which can also lead to death. I don't know about you, but I don't want an alkaline body. I want my body right here. But have no fear. With this small of a range, you can bet our bodies do an excellent job of making sure our pH stays right where it belongs. It's called a buffering system. Our buffering system uses a strong mechanism to keep our body's pH tightly regulated. And it's not just the blood. Every organ in our body has a set pH range and its own buffering system to keep it that way. All these systems work synergistically to ensure nothing reaches a pH level that is not meant to be. This makes sense because with all the different things we eat and drink, our body's pH will constantly be going up and down if there were not systems in place to regulate it. Even though higher pHs can be seen in your saliva or urine, it does not represent a high pH on the inside of you. So, testing your pH of your mouth or urine does not tell you your blood pH. It just tells you more about what you just ate. So does that mean I shouldn't drink alkaline water? You must remember, not all alkaline waters are the same. Alkaline water made with an ionizer has a high pH and is low in its alkalinity. If you have watched episode eight, you know alkalinity is the ability to buffer acid. If water is low in alkalinity, it will not be able to maintain its pH even when it's introduced to a little acid. In the chance that alkaline water makes it past the stomach, it will eventually be neutralized by the blood. Now there may be one benefit to high pH water. Water above an 8 pH can stimulate the pyloric valve at the bottom of the stomach and cause it to open quicker. This means it can empty it faster and alleviate the sloshy feeling you get when you drink water. However, it only happens on a completely empty stomach, which if you're like me, doesn't happen very often. Now the drawback to high pH water is there are some who are pH sensitive and might see negative effects and others who just don't like the taste. Of course, there are other drawbacks when it comes to ionizers, which we will go into further in a future video. Now it's important to note that there are alkaline bottled waters at many grocery stores. These are usually made with sodium bicarbonate, AKA, baking soda. Because bicarbonate is a buffer, it is not easily overcome by acid, which can be problematic to having your water over time. All I'm saying is be careful with the alkaline water. The important thing to remember with alkaline water is the only time it's shown benefits is when it contains dissolved molecular hydrogen. Water from an ionizer can possibly have dissolved molecular hydrogen, which can be the reason why so many people have seen benefits from this water. Remember, simply being hydrated has its own numerous benefits, so drink up. Don't know what dissolved molecular hydrogen is and what it can do? Well, that's what H2 Minutes is all about, baby! Watch some of our past videos for more information, and stay tuned for many future videos about H2. And that's your dose of H2 in two minutes, give or take.